Hello and thanks for viewing our first video at linuxstudyguide.com. Today I just want to go ahead and go over the basics of installing Fedora. Um, Fedora is what you need in order to pass Linux Plus tests. It's what they base off their questions off of. Um, it's a great stable version of Linux and it's commonly used for home and for uh, businesses. Um, we're going to install it on a virtual machine. A virtual machine is just a machine um, an operating system like Linux that will run on top of another one running on top of Windows this time. To do this we're using VMware Player. It's free to download. You can um, see the, get the link from Linux Plus or sorry LinuxStudyGuide.com and um, it's free to download and I'll go ahead and go over how to install it. So when you get it all downloaded it's about 120 megabytes I believe. Um, you'll see this little icon just go ahead and double click it and to freak out your computer for a second and hit yes. A window will pop up in a second depending on your computer speed. So this is just going over and loading the cab files. Hit next. Select the area. I'm just going to do the default. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and check for updates because I don't really worry about it. Help improve VMware player. I'm going to say no um, just for this time. I'm going to go ahead and create the desktop icon. I don't want to start menu folder click next to continue and now it's installing. Simple, easy. I'm going to go ahead and pause it until it's done installing. And of course you're going to need to restart later. Or actually restart now. Let's see if I can restart later and make it run. I don't know. Hold on. So far it looks like it's running. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes, accept license terms. And boom. So we are going to create a new virtual machine. We're going to do it if you have the Linux sticks, which you can actually order from, and they'll ship it to you from fedora.project.com. Uh, software download. I'm going to skip this. Don't really care about the update. And then we can install the disk image file, ISO. So now you just select the location. The ISO file is what you downloaded here from fedoraproject.org. You can find the link on our website, linuxstudyguide.com. So select the disk image file. Browse, desktop, I have so much stuff, and then the Fedora Live desktop. Next, we'll then you'll just select what operating system you're installing. It is going to be a Linux. You select the version. Tons of drop downs. <laughs> As you can see, there's tons of different brands of Linux. We are installing Fedora 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on what your processor speed is. You can find out your processor speed by clicking on Start right clicking on my computer and going down to properties and I'll bring open this window and then you see here this is a 64-bit operating system if yours is 32-bit operating system use the 32-bit alright next the virtual machine name I'm just going to leave it as the standard um, disk space that is fine 20 gigabits you can I would say 20 gigabits is probably the least you want to go um, just because I like to have space to do files, programs, testing, websites, if you want to try websites. There's tons of stuff we can do with Linux. So, And then we'll just go ahead and split the disk into multiple files. That is fine. So this is just making sure your settings are good. And then hit finish. Now VMware should go ahead and try to boot the Linux machine. Once again, it's going to say software update. I'm going to remind me later. And uh, removable devices. And now it's starting Fedora. I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit. Oh, I'm not going to make it any bigger because it won't let me. <laughs> so it's loading now. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. So when it's done, I'll restart this video. All right, we're here. So now you have two options. You can try Fedora or you can install to hard drive. We're going to install the hard drive, that virtual machine. That way we don't have to have, have to deal with this install process again. So just click the little install the hard drive icon and boom select your language I am US English um, this will be a basic storage device yours most likely will too boom boom 2000 and it looks like the defaults are perfect Yep. Yes, discard any data. Host name. Um, this is just the name of it. I'm going to name mine Fedora. 
located in New York. Perfect. Root password. This is a password that basically says anyone who has this password can do anything to this machine. So for me, I'll just make it simple. But if for you, if you're real serious about security, and you might actually use this on a real machine, make your password super strong. <laughs> At least three words is how we um, how you should probably do it. Um, letters and numbers actually don't really matter too much because they're finding with math mathematical formulas that if you use at least four words it takes like 68 years to break it. So that, there you go. Make a sentence like I love my mom or mother. Mother would probably be better. I mean, that, that would be a great password. You provide a weak password. Yes. Use all the space. And then you say write changes to disk. It's just letting you know that anything else on the disk is going to be erased. Now because it's just a virtual machine and that 20 gigabits of um, space we already freed up on our hard drive, it's not actually writing to our hard drive with our Windows operating system, so you don't have to be worried about losing any of your files, pictures, music, videos, none of that, because it's actually just in its own little enclosed area, which is awesome and f amazing that VMware provides this for free, which is great, because it makes a great t training tool and allows you not to have to buy costly hardware and deal with crazy, crazy things. I'm going to go ahead and pause it while it's copying the image to the hard drive, and I'll get back to you when it's done. And we're done. Quick. So now it's just going to ask to reboot. Of course, you can reboot, and it'll do it inside the virtual machine. It won't actually reboot your computer. So that's the kind of cool thing about that. All right. Give it just a second. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. And then it's going to say which um, version you want to do. Uh, you have two options here, advanced and normal. Just select the normal. It'll do it automatically if you don't do it. I think it's five seconds you have. About that. Here comes your little welcome screen. Um, at this point, you actually have installed Fedora completely on your virtual machine. You're done. That's it. <laughs> um, all that's left is just license information. This talks about how it's free. There are no restrictions to using it, copying or modifying this code, because they're more than happy. It's all open source. Um, create a user. Right. Username. I always use caps. Add to administrators group, just so I can change whatever I want. Password. It's not like that password. <laughs> if you need that word, can. Um, don't worry about this. This is for other things. And leave it as normal. Hit forward. Date and time. Seventh. And yes. Okay. Don't worry about that checkbox either. That's for NTP server, which you most likely do not have. just so they can track what you change and stuff and how anything that errors out and it'll send to them. Um, you can enable it if you want. I just disabled it because it's just to save network traffic. So boom, here's our sign-in. There's your account you created. And... Boom. There, here is Linux. You are here. Boom! You got all the stuff to do. You got all. I mean, it's just an amazing operating system. Well, I hope this was informative and you were able to learn how to install Fedora on a virtual machine. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks. Bye.